I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week, we have put together a few of our favorite TV series inspired custom dolls. From Emma Swan to Star vs. the Forces of Evil, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. On Instagram, one of our fabs and besties wanted to know if a Project MC Squared doll could fit a made to move Barbie body. And the answer is yes! This was my first attempt and I removed the head the way I usually do by pretty much just pulling it off. However, that didn't end so well for the Project MC Square body. I broke the neck peg. <gasps> so we are going to try it again and hopefully everyone is okay this time. I know, kind of nervous. I am going to try to soften the head by heating it in some hot water. At first, I was a little nervous to use hot water because these dolls have inset eyes and I was worried that the heat might m cause the eyes to move. However, someone on Instagram uh, assured me that they tried it and it worked. So let's give it a try. I placed the doll inside a large baggie, then placed the head in the hot water for a few minutes or possibly a few seconds depending on how hot the water is. Remove it from the water, carefully remove the doll from the bag, then squeeze and remove the head. This is still not coming off easily. Just gotta be gentle. Ah, <laughs> I did it. All right, it's your turn. Now I can attach the new head. However, the opening is a little small to fit the peg. So I'm going to use a pair of scissors to widen it. Now I can carefully attach the head. Yay, she's all done. When I place the Barbie onto the Project MC Square body, she ends up with bobblehead syndrome. So, aw. Let's see if a few rubber bands will work. All right, let's try it now. All right, she no longer bobbles. Aw, she looks like a good friend for Skipper. As for our new made to move Adrian, I think I want to give her a Disney bounding makeover. <gasps> like Star Butterfly from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Since we are Disney bounding, we are going to use some Barbie clothes to get an inspired look. Star wears a lot of colorful dresses. So let's try on a few to see how they look. This is cute. Aww. Love the top. I'm talking rainbows, talking puppies. Hmm, we need more cutesy cuteness. Let's try this Barbie dress. I take a plastic star bead, add a chain, paint on a face to make a cute little star purse. Paint some Barbie cat ears with red nail polish to make a cute little headband. This is a cute look, but we really gotta add some turquoise here. Ooh, let's try these tights from Star Darling. There are even little stars on the knees. And we finished it off with a cute little pair of boots. And I found a couple more Barbie outfits to expand our Star Butterfly inspired closet. So this was a lot of fun. We combined Project MC Square with Barbie and Disney. I love creating character inspired outfits and I absolutely love combining different dolls to create a whole new one. And from this Barbie camping fun pack, we have a laser puppy. I can use a little craft paint to add our own custom details. And you're done. Happy crafting! And if you're down for it, yeah, I could take you in. But if you're not a fighter, I can't promise it. Everyone From the Barbie Collector Black Label Collection, these are the dolls from the movie Divergent, a science fiction film that takes place in the future. Speaking of the future, we thought it would be fun to turn four into the 10th Doctor. 
I'm going to start by messing his hair up on top. It's not as dark as I would like, but I think it'll work. Carefully pour hot water over the hair to loosen the curls. Brush them smooth with a toothbrush. Add a little conditioner and trim off any stray hairs. Use fingernail polish remover to remove some of the paint from his top lip to make his lips look thinner. Use craft paint to add sideburns. Using fabric and some ideas from our doll lab coat video, we place the doll on a folded piece of fabric, trace around him using enough space for a seam allowance, make a small circle for the neck, open it up and lay it flat to finish the circle, draw a line down the center from the circle to the end of the fabric, cut another rectangle of fabric, place it on top, sew a straight line around the line drawn, cut between the lines sewn, turn the fabric over the edge, then fold it in half, flip it so the good side is facing down, then fold over and hem the sleeves, then fold it in half, allowing the center to overlap, then sew down the sides. Try it on the doll and take it in where needed. Sew on snaps to close the shirt. Attach a collar, just like we did in the lab coat video. Tie a piece of ribbon around his neck to make a tie. We made a pair of pants using our swimsuit video, only this time we made the shorts longer. And instead of using ribbon for a drawstring, we sewed on snaps. I begin making the lab coat again, this time with an elongated semicircle. Then follow the rest of the instructions to make a jacket. Repeat using a brown fabric, making the neckline even longer. After flipping it over the edge, sew on the collar from one corner to the other. Then finish to make the trench coat. So using our lab coat video, we were able to make the shirt, a jacket, and a trench coat. We just changed the neckline for the different garments. Now to finish him off, we're going to add a few more details, like buttons on the jacket and the coat. Fold over pieces of fabric, sew them on for pockets. Use an iron to reinforce the creases. We took a pair of shoes for Ken, repainted them with acrylic paint to make his shoes. Take a toothpick, cut it down to size, wrap it with strips of paper, using glue to secure the ends, paint it, glue a bead on the end to make a sonic screwdriver. Add a pair of 3D glasses from one of our previous videos, and you're done. Happy customizing. time machine after all. Why do you want a time machine anyway? So we can go back in time and have summer vacation all over again. Why don't you just use the time machine that I made? You mean the one that looks like a giant oatmeal container and mixes up our DNA on the trip back? I've kind of blocked that one from my memory. Well, since you're not doing anything, can you hand me that solution over there on the counter? Ooh, look at the pretty colors. For the last year, I have been developing a non-toxic, all-natural flea repellent. And after many tests, it has been proven safe for animal use. I wonder what happens when I mix them. Sophie, can I have it? Oh yeah, here. Just one drop should do it. Chloe, look out! That's not supposed to happen. I might have altered your solution a little. A little? 
We want to give a shout out to Hillary Jean. What's up? Never fear, the doctor is here. You did call for the doctor, right? Doctor who? From the TV show, Once Upon a Time, we are going to get the look of Emma Swan. So first, let's find a doll. We could use this fashionista Summer, who is fully articulated. However, we're looking for a doll with softer makeup and a more serious expression. So I'm choosing Barbie Basic number 4 from series 3. However, she is not fully articulated. But we can fix that with a quick head swap. Using acetone nail polish remover, I remove her lipstick and repaint them with a soft acrylic paint. And I add a touch of green to her eyes to match Emma's natural look. Now, hmm, what to wear? We are searching through our doll clothes to get some Emma-inspired fashion. I borrow a pair of black tights from a Barbie Sew in Style outfit, Maleficent's boots, then I cut a long rectangle out of an old t-shirt, fold it in half, make a small cut in the center of the folded edge, making sure it is large enough to fit the doll's head. Make two small cuts out to the side of the line, fold them back, and stitch in place. And I'm doing a back stitch along the edge. And I use small pieces of tape to hold the fabric in place while sewing. Once I've sewn all the way around, Fold it over, make small cuts on the corners, fold and sew down, sew a pocket on the front, fold it over so the good side is on the inside, sew along the sides, turn it right side out to make a sleeveless t-shirt that can be placed on the doll when her arms are risen. Cut a piece of ribbon, fold over a rectangle of material, cut it at an angle, overlap and glue the sides, glue it to the ribbon, Cut strips of recycled paperboard, stack and glue a few layers together, trim and sand away the top for a handle and a point at the bottom. Glue on more paperboard for detail. I glue a bead on the end, paint it, wrap thread around the handle to make a sword to go inside. Place a jump ring on a chain to make a necklace. Loosely wrap a few rubber bands around her wrist for a bracelet to make Emma's look in Neverland. And to make Emma's classic look, I'm going to use this sweater and these jeans from this Barbie fashion pack and this Barbie basic red leather jacket. Rearranged her hair into a tossed look, gave her a sword to make an Emma Swan you might see walking around Storybrooke. And you're done. Happy customizing. Baby, one day. Sophie, keep it down. Someone's going to hear you. Again. Don't worry so much. I'll just come up with an excuse like I did last time. Um, I mean, we'll be having frog legs and fish tacos for dinner. Ah! Yeah, you might want to take a break from making excuses. Forever. We want to give a shout out to Delightful DIYs. What's up? Sorry, but I couldn't help but to overhear your little problem. And it sounds to me like you need to go to a world without magic. <laughs> a world without magic? <laughs> like, that's real. But seriously, can you help me find a wand with phoenix feathers? Out of all of our Barbie made-to-move mashups, I think my favorite so far has been the Project MC Squared Made to Move combination. So I am going to make another one. This time using Michaela McAllister, the writer, hipster, undercover spy, you know, just like every other teenage girl, trying to save the world. Hey, 
That gives me an idea. But we'll come back to that. Right now, let's get her out of the box. I will never this was a basic Project MC Square doll. I think it was around $15. She has the basic five points of articulation because I didn't see the point in buying a fully articulated doll since I'm going to replace the body. Anyway, I'm just going to recycle the body from our last Made to Move project. I'll just put her back on her original body. No harm done. You, on the other hand, off with her head. Unfortunately, yes. I forgot how difficult these were to get off. I have to go get hot water. I finally removed the head and now we have to widen the neck hole just a little so I can attach it to the made to move body. Yay! It worked! So now I have three made to move Project MC Squared dolls. I like how we made Adrian a fan of Star Butterfly from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So maybe we can make Cameron and Michaela fans of another show. Remember that light bulb? Well, I was thinking, since she likes saving the world, we can make her a miraculous fan. Maybe she likes to dress up as Marinette. And Cameron can dress up as her best friend, Alia. She's definitely close on the hair color. Michaela has dark hair, but we're gonna add a few blue streaks. I've got some leftover blue hair from dollyhair.com a push pin, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. And our homemade rerouting tool from our custom Rainbow Dash video. To add the highlights, I just part the hair, use a push pin to make a hole in the scalp. See? It's right there. I take a little bit of the blue hair, place it over the hole, then use the hook on the end of my rerouting tool to grab the hair and push it through the hole. Gently remove the excess hair, trim off the excess, then brush and style into the doll's hair. I just poured some hot water on it and combed it through. And now she has a hint of blue in her hair. This is the same way I added the purple streak to Sophie's hair, and it's lasted a while. I guess I could have used Devin because she already has the blue streaks, However, I just really liked how soft Michaela's makeup was, so that's why I chose her. Now, what to wear? Let's see if she can fit the outfit from the Marinette doll. Here you go, and you can just walk into our little dressing room. I guess that means the pants didn't work. I have a pair of Barbie pants, which are pretty similar, so these should work. So Michaela, did the top fit? Well... Kind of. It's a little small, but I guess it could work. Or she could just wear a white tee and black jacket by Barbie. Because remember, she's a fan wearing a Marinette-inspired look. As for Cameron, well, you know, she's a total Alia fan, and the Barbie Farmer outfit is perfect. Yeah, so perfect. However, I feel like I should add a little more to Michaela. So I painted a few flowers on her shirt and styled her hair in two ponytails. And for Cameron, I'm gonna take the hair in the front and tie it in the back. I used a rubber hairband to secure it to look like her hair is pulled behind her ears. Use paint to give her a beauty mark above the eyebrow and a pair of glasses to finish the look. So now, these two are total Miraculous fans, and Adrian is a Star Butterfly fan. I wonder what other fangirls we can make from the other members of Project MC Squared. Make a suggestion down below while these girls prepare for a Miraculous Marathon Weekend. And you're done. Happy crafting!
gonna give a shout out to Blessed Abby G. What's up? All right, I just finished hooking up the Wi-Fi so we can watch all four screens at one time. Popcorn, check. Best friends, check. Looks like we're ready for a three-hour miraculous marathon. Yay! Uh, don't you mean star versus the forces of evil? Um, how about we vote? We have had a lot of requests to make Andy from the Disney Channel series, Andy Mac. So we are going to use some artistic liberties and customize this doll from Barbie Skipper Babysitters Inc. I found this doll at Walmart yesterday for $7.88. Let's take her out of the box. The first thing we're gonna do is add a little more articulation. This doll does have the basic five, but I want more. I want more. Ariel, this isn't about you. In previous vids, we swapped Skipper dolls with Disney descendants. And we matched her to Evie. However, I am fresh out of Evie's. Aw, oh, man, what are we gonna do? Let's see if she can match one of these two. No, I think that one's a little off. But Lonnie looks pretty close. So yeah, let's give it a try. Everyone, say it with me. Off with the head. Disney descendant heads are kind of difficult to remove. It is very easy to break the neck peg. So I place the doll in a plastic bag, then place the bag into a cup of hot water. Always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. After allowing the doll to sit in there for a few seconds, remove it, take off the plastic bag, then remove the head. If it is still too difficult, place it back into the bag and allow it to warm a little longer. Now let's see if we can get the head off this time. Oh yeah, way easier. Remove the skipper doll's head. There we go. And replace with the Disney descendant head and place the skipper head onto the Disney descendant body. Now when you're doing this, make sure that you want this doll on this body because it is very difficult to remove later. The match actually looks pretty good. It's a tiny bit off, but we're gonna go with it. And she can fit her old clothes, but unfortunately, not the shoes. Now she needs a little haircut. Ooh, this looks like a cool place. I wonder if they take walk-ins. Hello? Is anyone here? Dizzy at your service. How can I help you? I'm just looking for a place to get a haircut. Well, then you came to the right place. Have a seat. So, what kind of style are you looking for? Um, I don't know. Surprise me. You! You've been taking all of the business in town! And I was here first. You can't be serious. Hand over the scissors. No, they're mine! Give them to me! No! Uh-oh. Why did you guys say uh-oh? Is everything okay? <gasps> Is that my hair? I am just going to cut her hair to a very short cut. But I start cutting a little bit at a time because we can always take away, but we cannot add back on without having to do a complete reroute. I am cutting the sides at an angle so it's a little longer on top and shorter around the bottom. Spray it with a little water. I make a part and comb it to the side. Pour on a little hot water. Quickly comb the hair to style. Tie the hair down. I'm using some vet wrap. I found it at Tractor Supply. Now we wait and let the hair dry. Once dried, carefully remove the vet wrap. We have a little spot there, but I think we can cover some of that with a headband. I trimmed it a little more, then I rewrapped the head and poured water over it. Now we're gonna get her dressed while waiting for her hair to dry. Andy Mack is known for wearing striped shirts and overalls. So let's try out these two outfits. 
This is so cute! I'm definitely getting that Andy Mac vibe now. I like the color of this top a little better. But this Skipper Babysitter's Ink Doll shirt looks perfect. Then I took a pair of overall shorts from a Project MC Square doll for a great look. And maybe we can use the vet wrap to make her headband. We use this stuff for the horse. And right now I'm just gonna cut a very thin strip. Then wrap it around her head. And this stuff likes to stick to itself, so it's working perfectly for a headband. And now we have a custom doll inspired by Andy Mack. She even has her great big smile. Thank you for joining us while we made our Andy Mack inspired doll. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! If everyone knew ooh, all the things I could do, should be done. I'm back on my feet. Cause all I really need is me. If I could just share my Give a shout out to Brighter Barbie. What's up? What are we gonna do? I know, we just totally cut off her hair. Why does this always happen to me? Wait, you too? In my defense, she did say surprise her, so I think this qualifies. We gotta fix her. Let's do what we do best. Cut all the hair off on accident. But this time, we're gonna do it on purpose. Hold still. All right, we'll take a little off there. Yeah, right over here is good. That, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Over there, cut that a little shorter. Yep, right there. Okay, uh, that looks about right. A little bit more right there. All right, I think that's about it. And we're done. Wow, I love it. You two are the best. I'm gonna tell all my friends to come here. Oh, it was nothing. Plus, we're the only hair salon in town, so they pretty much have no choice. Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!